Hello, I am Sugar Mike 6 Echo November Golf. In July, I bought a new power amplifier, a state of the art 1.3K FA from SPE. I actually replaced my old amplifier, also from SPE, a 2K FA. The reason of doing so was that I needed a power amplifier that requires less drive power. Despite that this power amplifier gets full scores on reviews, I very soon detected that it generates pyreosis into my receiver. If you're not observant, it might not be so obvious to understand that you're dealing with pyreosis. If you have an SDR, it of course makes it easier. I, f I will show you a method to identify those pyreosis, but first I would stress that those pyreosis are only visible when you're using the built-in antenna tuner in the power amplifier, so it must not be bypassed. To exclude external signal sources, I will now switch the power amplifier to, to a dummy load instead of to the antenna. So I change to the dummy load now. And now it is easy to see that you are dealing with spiriosis. They are spaced about 39 kilohertz and have a signal level of minus 120 to minus 110 dBm. Strong enough to cause problem if you are listening to weak signals. I will also demonstrate that if I switched off the power supply, the spiriosis will disappear. And I do that now. And now they're gone. So obviously they are generated in the power amplifier. I contacted the seller and the answer I got that shouldn't be any problem with those power amplifier since he had sold so many of them and no one else have complained. Fortunately a couple of weeks later, ARRL test laboratories confirmed my findings. That means that the problems are not only related to my unit, but is of more general nature. This confirmation from ARRL of course made it easier for me to communicate with both seller and the manufacturer. I contacted the manufacturer and they did admit that there are problems with spiriosis from uh, in this amplifier. They say that they are related to some noisy batches of power supply units and they recommend me to send in the power amplifier and have the power supply unit replaced. So my message here is uh, that when you're dealing with modern power amplifiers it's not sufficient to just check the TX performance. Many of new, those new power amplifiers also include switched power supplies, microprocessors and data buses which can cause spiriosis. I followed the recommendation from the manufacturer to replace my power supply unit and this has now been done. And here is the result of this. So first let, let's recapture how the spectrum looked before. 
and I have the scre same screenshot of this and here you see there are spectrum there are spurioses each 39 kilohertz based 39 kilohertz on 80 meter and I have a signal level but about 120 minus 120 to minus 110 dBm so now looks take a look at uh, let's take a look at the present situation you see many of the spurioses are gone but there are still some left but the situation has improved and the level is lower however if I go to 28 megahertz instead for, for 3.5 megahertz the situation is somewhat different now there are not so many discrete signals but noise levels you see go up up and down here sort of broadband noise and I will also show that uh, the level of this, this noise is dependent on mode on the amplifier if I now it is in operational mode if I press it off the level gets more or less disappear and if I go back to operation mode and I change power level this will also somewhat affect affect spuriosis this is for 500 watts this is for 1kw and this is for 1500 watts and uh, I contacted a manufacturer about this and I say those levels are so low that if you're listening to an antenna instead they will not be they will be below the noise level uh, on the band but this is not correct I will now switch over to my antenna you see the noise level the background noise level increased but uh, you still see the spuriosis or noise generated from the power amplifier now we're on the dummy load again Further, if you go to 50 megahertz, you see uh, other behavior. Here is a bunch of spuriosis right in the interesting part of the band. So, uh, I of course contacted the manufacturer again and they ad advised me to send the power amplifier back and I will get the money refunded. The conclusion is that the power amplifier 1.3K-FA suffers of some design flaws. This has honestly been admitted by the manufacturer. In my opinion I think the power amplifier should be redesigned. Due to the spuriosis, RX performance might be degraded if you are listening to very weak signals and mainly if you are using the built-in antenna tuner. 73 from Sugar Mike 6 Echo November Golf.